Mm. Hey, boss. They came as soon as they got your message. Sit down, Tom. We have a mole, Tom. No. Who? Oh. I was all night driving myself nuts trying to figure it out. I started thinking maybe it's one of our guys. We aren't paying his fair share. Someone with a light wallet. He looking to Morello for a new suit. Frank wasn't around, so I went to the safe to get the account books. To see who's getting cents on the dollar he's earned. What do you know? The books are gone, Tom. Frank. <sighs> More than 50 years I've known him. <sighs> Everything I have, I got with Frank. And every buck we've earned, every dime we've paid out, it's all logged in those books. Frank handles over to the feds, we're finished. Frank respects one person in this whole town, and that's you. This has got to be some kind of misunderstanding. I've been calling him all day. I went by his place. He's gone. His wife and kid are gone. But why? I don't know. I'm sure he has his reasons. Maybe he's still smarting over the dog. When you tried to drown him? Yeah. <sighs> Same one I shot after he wouldn't let me sink her. I was a stupid kid, Tommy. A grudge or no grudge, we gotta get those books back. Shaking all our stories. See who knows what. When you catch up to Frank, you get those books. And if he doesn't have them on him, you make him tell you where to find them. After that, you do what we gotta do. Vincenzo's waiting for you with a clean car. Tommy. Tough day you gotta to keep call. a lid on this, Tom. Start with Biff, but don't give him nothing. I got you a clean set of wheels. And something special here, if you want it. When Frank sees a Lepara, he'll know. The old ways work. Tommy, what's the rumpus? Heard any big news lately? Something that Don might want to know. Uh, depends. What's it worth to you? Twenty bucks. How about forty? All right, spill. The FBI's in town. They're getting something from Morella. I, I don't know what. How'd you hear? Little Tony got some guy drunk in the black cat and drove him home. Heard a bunch of stuff. Oh, he's the guy you want to see. Okay. Thanks. Always a pleasure, Tommy.
everything. Hey, Tom. Nah, nah, it's not. What's this about the guy you drove home with the feds? He came in for a drink, which turned into ten. He's hired muscle for some kind of safe house. Where? Kill. Corner of Pine. He gave me ten bucks to drive him back and keep my mouth shut. That on that Council of Gilates brokered some kind of deal in Morello and the FBI. They were all ready to sit tight on someone in there. Why the hell didn't you tell us? Tom, I did. I came in French straight away. He didn't tell the Don? No. No, he didn't. Tom, what's going on? Now to the game seven of the gold Take me to those account books, Frank. And we return now to coverage what could be the final play of this game and the series between the Lost Heaven Lancers and the Empire Bay Cannons. A quick reminder that this final inning is being brought to you by Swift Cola. When you need a lift, reach for a Swift. It's not only a taste sensation, it's guaranteed to increase focus, drive, and mental clarity. Pick up a bottle of Swift Cola today. And as we are coming to a close, let me thank today's other sponsors, Big Break Cigarettes and Lost Heaven Courier. Both of these teams really could be said to be entering golden eras. Each team has a star player at the core with promising youngsters set a refer, of course, to Smith and Seidel. The Cannons have had several such golden periods. The Lancers, it's fair to say, have not. I can see Lancers manager, Fee Hodge, prowling in front of the dugout, gesticulating. He seems animated, to say the least. Looks like he's putting one of the officials in his place, or something or other. With the noise of the crowd, it is quite hard to say sure. Whatever's going on down there, you can feel the sense of occasion, and you just know that whatever happens, the crowd will be the first to tell you what has happened. The Lancers are now within minutes of snatching the gold series, which at one stage had appeared doomed, but they equally teeter on the edge of defeat. It all comes down to the final play. Nobody is warming up in the bullpen. Nobody down there is considering the possibility of extra innings. Bunny Smith then, standing on the mound, a look of steely determination on his face. He's between no emotion, doesn't look nervous or tired after his exertions this series. Going to see a kind of the weight of expectation. He's having a word with the umpire about something or other. What a strapping fellow. 6'2", 195 pounds. If the Lancers are to win here, he's going to write himself into the record books. And boy, oh boy, what that would mean to the people of Lost Heaven after such a long time without glory on the diamond. All right, they've sorted out whatever was going on. Here we go then. In for the cannons, it's Patty Doherty. Smith is pitching the game of his life, but Doherty, big man. If he can catch one, it could run, and with bases loaded, the cannons would have it. Here we go. Patty facing down Smith. Pass ball and strike. The big man thought he had it. Some speed, that ball, my goodness. It's fair to say Doherty looks a little spooked. He was convinced he had it. His body language tells the tale. Smith remains cool, under pressure, not a flicker of emotion on base. He winds up, and that's two. There was zip on that ah, one. shit. Side they can hear the airport for it. We have no chance of hearing it as the noise of the crowd reaches fever pitch. Doherty's gesturing, and that's only making Seidel more irate. This is it, folks. Another strike, and the Lancers win. If Doherty can get behind it, surely the Cannons will get all home and snatch victory. A swing and a miss, and that's the winners! Lancers win! Lancers win! And Smith finally cracks!
Lance in a latent spot. He's thrown his cap in the air, as have his teammates. Lance has win the 1933 Gold Series! They're flying him out of state or something. Fuck, this ain't good. just flashed a badge at me and forced me out. Airport's closed to the public. Problem here. You can't hide from me. All right, what's he doing? You can't hide from me. What's he doing?
Lardy's people. The FBI. Guy just flashed a badge at me and forced me out. Fights will be canceled. I'm sure of it.
Tom. Frank, the Don sent me. I figured as much. I'm sorry it had to be you, Tommy. Anything you want me to tell him? I wish it could have shaken out better, but Morello finally came out. It's okay. You can come out. Morello offered me a simple trade. The Don's account books for our lives and tickets out of this town. You hand the books over, you... So stupid, Don. They're safe. Morello is waiting for this. It's a key to a box in the Grand Imperial Bank downtown. I told Morello I'd hand it over after the plane was fueled and ready to go. His men were meant to fetch it before we left. I took care of them. Tell them to get on a plane. Go on march, Alice. Get aboard. Frank, you're coming with us. Not right now, honey. Just get buckled in. Me and I, we have some serious business to discuss. But Frank... Get on the plane, march! For Alice. For me. Get on the goddamn plane, please. You been paid yet? Yeah. Now you've been paid twice. You take the ladies wherever they want to go. Yes, sir. Thank you, Tom. Christ, Frank. Why didn't you ask for help? I guess I just wanted out. One way or the other. I'm tired. Tired of lying to my wife. Tired of checking under my car every time I take a Sunday drive. And tired of waiting for the dawn to put two in my temple. Good afternoon, sir. Where's the safety to boxes? With my colleague downstairs, sir. Thanks. Ah, 
beautiful day, huh? Uh-huh. Keeping out of trouble. I need to access the deposit boxes for Frank Coletti. Ah, yes. Mr. Angelo? Uh, yeah. Mr. Coletti said it might be you who came and to provide act. Please, follow me. The books and covered my tracks. Salieri never asked any questions. In fact, apart from the funeral, I never heard him talk about Frank again. Making my boys twitchy, Marku. Sergio and I just came by to pay our respects, that's all. Known Frank a long time. Almost as long as you. He's a good man. Smart. Loyal. <laughs> loyal to his wife. His kid above all else. There must be some kind of honor in that in you. Maybe. But I'm just looking at this headstone with his little girl's name on it. Look at these houses. Big yachts, white picket fences. It's the American dream, eh, Tommy? I suppose. Not for you? No, sir. I like being closer to the business. Don't let the flower beds and front porches fool you. There's more crooks out here than in the rest of the city combined. Are that why we're in the neighborhood? In a way. Merle's got a dirt prosecutor on his payroll named Watkins. Turns out he's old friends with Galati. The city cover? The same. Bro let drop that we might have had something to do with the Galati boy's death. Now Watkins is loaded for bear, trying to do right by his buddy. Word is, he's striking gold with a few witnesses. You and names? Yeah. But Paulie and Sam are taking care of them. I'm putting you on a different part of the job. We need whatever Watkins has got on us. Well, where's he holding? A safe in the villa. <laughs> I'm no safe cracker. <laughs> Don't worry about that. We're taking you to meet Salvatore. He's fresh off the boat, but he knows how to pop open anything. Just in the villa, find the safe, and he'll do the rest. What kind of rumpus should I expect? Nothing you can't handle. Watkins is going to theater, so the house should be empty except for a bit of muscle. The office is on the first floor. Stooley says the safe is in the wall. Once Salvatore has the safe open, grab all the evidence and get out. That him, boss? Yeah, that's bad. Salvatore, tutto bene? Si, grazie, Don Salieri. Good to see you. You know the job. Don't let me down. See, si. who can you shoot? Tommy, if you bump an Watkins, don't kill him. It'll just bring down more heat. 
You got it, boss. Buona fortuna, ragazzi. Tommy. Tommy Angelo. Piacere di... di conoscerti. Meraviglioso. <laughs> Pi favore. Parli almeno un po' di italiano? Il capo ti ha detto il piano? Uh, I don't speak Italian. Eccellente. Ah, fantastico. Uh, no plan? Yeah, the bus stop. Uh, please. Uh, uh, understand. Ecco, entriamo da lì. Eh, over wall, labirinto. What? Vedrai. Oh, a mess. Sì, un labirinto. Stay here while I take out guards. A quanto pare in America hanno i labirinti. Yeah. I wish I got the night off. Evening for standing around, I guess.
someone in the maze with us. Over wall, labirinto. What is I? Oh, a maze. See, un labirinto. Stay here while I take out the guards. I want to marry. America, I know you love it. I wish I could have... Evening for standing around, I guess. That's all of them. Salvatore! Where are you? We're clear. Tommy! I hear! Where the hell did he go? Wait, Tommy! It's a pain in the ass. What?
kind of luck picker are you? Look for a dipinto. Uh, um, da Vinci, uh, Caravaggio, uh, I capito. Painting? You're saying it's behind the painting? Si, si. Okay, I understand. Non quello. Guess we got another room to check. There's one. Only wall behind here. There's one. Sure. Show me what you can do. Be quick, Salvatore. Pacenza, pacenza.
Salvatore, stay back. I'll deal with him. I know! What you're saying, I know! Police? He's gone. Go back to patrols. Ah, grazie a Dio. Salvatore, where do I take you now? Home. Yeah. Where home? Uh, six and uh, Naipaul. Okay. Let's go. Good night. Uh, night. 